それでその約7万本ぐらい There were approximately 70,000 trees, and all of them except this one tree were wiped out in the March 11th tsunami. Since then, we've called this the miraculous lone pine. Hungry for hope, each week, retired teacher Yasumori Matsuzaka visits Riku Zen Takata's 100 foot giant. It's become a symbol of Japan's determination. A survivor after a tsunami ravaged the country's northeast and left more than 20,000 people dead. The fact that the tree is still standing after the tsunami and is still alive, we take into account. We use it as a symbol. A symbol that's graced everything, from buttons to keychains, and even ads for local businesses working to rebuild. But nine months since the disaster, this emblem of life is failing. If the tree were a human, it would be in critical condition. It's in bad shape. After the tsunami, land along the city's waterfront sank in some places by nearly three feet. Salt water lurched forward and enveloped the tree. Aggressive preservation efforts began, from bathing the roots in fresh water to lodging 16 foot steel plates around the tree last summer to keep the encroaching seawater at bay. Still, by autumn, the tree had started to turn brown and stopped producing roots. In October, contractors tasked with preserving the tree made a tough decision to stop pumping salt water away from it, essentially leaving it to die. Two organizations dug up the root in the beginning of October. They found the root was dead, and they confirmed that it no longer had the ability to absorb water. Some residents warn against linking the fate of the tree to the town's identity, especially with the city center still in ruins. As a person doing business, I'm not really focused on this tree. We have other things to focus on. I feel very emotionally and geographically distant from the tree. But Yoshihisa Suzuki says it's important to keep the tree standing to inspire tsunami preparedness. Even if it dies, it can stand as a warning and reminder of how terrifying the tsunami was. I want to preserve it somehow. Suzuki is also charting plans to restore the Takata Matsubara, the forest where the tree once stood among thousands of others. He knows it'll take centuries to bring the coastline back. For now, this one link to a greener past awaits the inevitable. I would be very sad if the tree dies, and we'll miss it very much. We'll be shocked. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm Linda Blake in Riku Zen Takada, Japan.